So now let's see how we can use the auto mirror plugin inside of Blender. So over here you can see that I got a new project and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Shift A on my keyboard and bring in a mess. So let's just go around and bring in a mess right here. So I'm just going to go around bring in a Taurus. So over here you can see that this is a single object right now and if I were to select out these points and if I were to move them then only those points move around right here. Let me just press Ctrl Z right here and then get out of editing mode right here. So now what I want to do is I want to mirror them out. So in order to do that, you can go around into edit, then you can go to preferences right here. And if you were to go around and then sit on the add on side right here, type in mirror, then you can see mess auto mirror is an option right here. Once you turn this on, what happens is that uh, the mirror uh, plugin gets enabled and to access it, you can select the shape right here. You can expand this, you can go around into edit and over here you can see auto mirror is an option. So you can select out the uh, axis where you want to mirror this. So you can uh, mirror this on Y axis, Z axis or X axis. So let's just go around, select, uh, let's say for example, Y axis right here and click on auto mirror. So you don't see any change right here, but if I were to press tab, now you can see mirror is there. So if I were to select this out and move this, you can see that uh, the, um, uh, the, uh, the vertices on the left side moves out as well. So you can see that you can go around and click and drag this and you can see that the mirror actually happens. So you can go around, you can select this, you can move this around and that is how it happens right here as you can see. You can go around right here and this is what you have as you can see you got the vertex. If you had to move this you can see that they are actually stitched together and that is what mirroring does. So it is a single object right here. You can press tab and this is a single object as you can see right here. You can press tab again and this is actually a mirror object so you can go around and if you were to edit this you can see that this is how it works like you can go around right here and that is how it works you can select out all right here you can move this around and you can see that it mirrors out everything right here you can click this you can uh, drag this out over here as well you can go around right here click and drag this around over here as well and that is how everything mirrors out just like that so that is how you can use the auto mirror plugin inside of Blender. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.